What is up everybody? So there's some new news coming out about 28 year old Brian Koberger. He's the person that was charged with murdering the four University of Idaho students. Now this article comes from TMZ and is linked in the description below. It states that he was more animated in class after killing the four Idaho students. It's crazy that he went back to school after allegedly murdering four people. I guess in his mind, he's got to go about his everyday life to try and not get found out for doing what he allegedly did. I suppose you just murdered four people and you're going to go back to school. There is something deeply, deeply wrong with this person. Now, this article states, the man charged with murdering four Idaho college students seems to be, seemed to be in good spirits and more animated in class after he allegedly committed the murders, according to a classmate. The suspect was seeking a PhD in criminology and was enrolled in the graduate program at Washington State University. He sounds like he was an intelligent person. I wonder why he did this. It's going to be, I mean, will he say? We don't know yet. Maybe he'll come out in the trial or maybe when police finally get a chance to interview him, he will give more information. But what's the connection to these four students? Why were these four students his target? He also recently graduated from DeSales University in Pennsylvania with a degree in criminal justice. B.K. Norton told the New York Times that they attended graduate studies with Koberger at WSU and quickly noticed some red flags that weren't obvious earlier in the semester after the brutal slangs came to light. Brian seemed more upbeat and willing to carry a conversation, Norton wrote in an email to the New York Times. They added Koberger had a keen interest in forensic psychology. They said Koberger had a quiet but intense demeanor which made those around him feel uncomfortable. He also passed certain remarks that made it clear he was anti-LGBTQ. He sort of creeped people out because he didn't because he stared and he didn't talk much, but when he did, it was very intelligent and he needed everyone to know he was smart. Maybe this was him doing something to prove how smart he was to and get away with it. Of course, that didn't happen, but truly bizarre. This guy seemed like a very intelligent person. I really, I'm really interested in knowing, like, what's the connection with these students? Why did he do it? What snapped inside of him and made him commit these horrible crimes? Koberger was arrested Friday in Monroe County, Pennsylvania after an FBI SWAT team descended on a house where he was staying. He was charged in Idaho with four counts of first-degree murder in connection with the November 13 stabbings. All four victims were students at the University of Idaho. Police have not disclosed a motive. Kohlberger is currently being held without bail in Pennsylvania pending extradition back to Idaho. An extradition hearing is set for Tuesday. Today is Sunday, January 1st, 2023. So it's two days away from today. Man, this is, it's absolutely bizarre. He seemed like a very intelligent university student, 28 years old, getting degrees. What changed in this person's life that made them, alleged, that made them allegedly commit this crime? I'm very interested to see how this proceeds and where this goes. Let me know what you think. Leave some comments below. I hope you're having a good day, and I'll see you again soon.